Hello students, welcome to today's e-learning session on combustion and flame, part 4, significance of temperature in the process of combustion. In our previous lesson, we understood that the presence of a combustible substance and oxygen are necessary for the process of combustion. Now, let us learn about the significance of temperature. Just look at these combustible materials. A matchstick, a candle, a paper, wood. As such, these substances do not burn. Friction is sufficient to light a matchstick. A flame is sufficient to light a candle. I will show you a small activity in which we can light a spirit lamp with a chemical reaction. Take a pinch of potassium permanganate powder in a porcelain tile. Add a drop of concentrated sulfuric acid and mix it with a glass rod. And now place the glass rod over a spirit lamp and observe. Straight away the spirit lamp catches fire. This reaction is highly exothermic and a lot of heat liberated during the reaction. This heat is sufficient to burn a spirit lamp. While doing this experiment, it is necessary to use small quantities of reagents because this reaction can be explosive. These activities show that different substances catch fire at different temperatures. The lowest temperature at which a substance catch fire is called its ignition temperature. Combustible substances do not catch fire or burn as long as its temperature is lower than its ignition temperature. Now, let me do an activity which tells you why reaching ignition temperature is necessary to burn an object. You know that paper catch fire with a flame. Let me take a paper cup and I will bring it near the flame. Paper cup caught fire and burnt. Now you see I will fill water in this paper cup and keep a thermometer. Observe the temperature of the water. Observe what happened to the paper cup. It does not burn. After heating it for a few minutes, note the temperature now. You can see the temperature of the water has increased. But paper does not catch fire. Tell me why it is so. When we heat water containing paper cup, Heat supplied to the paper cup is transferred to the water by conduction. So, in the presence of water, the ignition temperature of the paper is not reached. Hence, it does not burn. I think you will now recall your experience where you might have struggled to burn some materials like wet cloth, wet paper, wet wood, etc. Because ignition temperature of these materials was not reached due to the presence of water in them. Sometimes you have even quickly burnt a wood by pouring little kerosene oil, petrol or alcohol over it. This is because these material having low ignition temperature. Substances having low ignition temperature are called inflammable substances. Ok students, now let us quickly revise what we have learned in today's class. Ignition temperature is the lowest temperature at which the combustible substances catches fire. Ignition temperature for different substances are different. Substances having low ignition temperature are called inflammable substances. Inflammable substances catch fire just by heat 
because of its low ignition temperature. Thank you.